Hi, Adobe Creative Educators. Welcome back to the Adobe Creative Educator Show. I hope you enjoyed our new intro and the branding uh, that we have as part of the ACE program. But we're so excited to be here with you today um, to celebrate the February theme of cultivating a creative class culture. Um, so if you're just joining the chat, please uh, share where you're joining us from today. I think we see Namita in here and Jessica and Willie. And of course, we going. <laughs> With um, partner in crime. Hello, hello. Oh, I'm so happy. What a good show. Um, you guys know me. I'm Tanya, but I'm actually more excited because look who we have, Monica. Hey, it's so good to have you here. We have such a great show. We're going to be sharing all kinds of great stuff. Um, so we'll have um, Monica. Why don't you tell us a little bit about you? You bet. Well, I am just so excited to be here with you all. Love the new branding and the new intro too. Um, my name is Monica Burns. I am an ed tech and curriculum consultant, a former New York City public school teacher, and a big fan of all the things that we are talking about today. And, and Monica, we're so excited to have you on the show as always. And I know you've been featuring so many new um, updates from Creative Cloud Express. And we're excited for you to share this month's challenge mm -hmm. from Adobe Creative Educators all around the world. And um, just to revise, for those who are tuning in, every month we're focusing on a different theme. And then the first week of the month, we share the educator challenge. And then the second week of the month, we'll be sharing a student facing challenge, all with directions and a video that we'll share here in a moment, created by our very own Rebecca Hare. Mm -hmm. um, so for the rest of the 2022, we'll do two live streams a month that will reflect these challenges. And one will be with an expert educator, like Monica Burns here today, and one with a partner organization. So later this month, you'll be hearing from Sam Rabadi, um, who's from Edutopia. So and plus, as a sneak peek, we have giveaway prizes for each month. So um, this month's theme, as I mentioned, is building a creative class culture. Um, so Monica, how, how does that impact educators? Having a creative class culture, strong class culture, one that embraces creativity is so important. And whenever talking about developing that class culture in your classroom, in your school, in your after school program, whatever your learning environment might be this year, bringing students into the conversation is so important. Asking how they view their time together, not only what they're hoping to accomplish, but how they want to feel as they are working towards a common goal with their classmates. So Monica, I think that you had something that you wanted to share, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm so excited about the new creativity challenge for this month. So thinking all about this idea of a class norms poster or a class culture poster, where you can really capture how you want everyone to feel, how you want your learning experience to be in your unique environment. And you can see here the challenge page on the screen. Yeah, and I know we have so many different components of that um, too. As we're as we're scroll scrolling through, um, we have this fifteen minute challenge mm -hmm. um, where educators can do this. Can you talk a little bit more um, through this, Monica? Yeah, well, just like in January, I love how this February challenge is positioned as a 15 minute challenge, something that you can sit down, carve out some time for and really have a product that you are proud and excited to share uh, with your uh, colleagues, with your students. And so for this challenge, there is a fantastic template that you can use. Um, we'll go out and take a look at it in just a moment to really identify your norms to put them on display, focus in on what is truly important for you in your classroom. And you can think about bringing your students into that conversation too, to say what is important to them. I, I love this challenge. I actually tried it out myself before we launched. And I got, I knew it was going to be fun because I got rabbit holed into it and ended up being like five iterations. And I was like, and then I messaged Rebecca. Rebecca is the architect of all these challenges, right? And I was like, this is good. This is good. So um, I think it would be really fun, Monica, if um, we kind of moved on to like the create portion. Yeah. And and, and you, well, I'll have you share your screen and mm -hmm. um, would you want to create some with us and kind of walk them everyone through it? 
I would absolutely love to. I'm very excited about this uh, this opportunity this month of February. Awesome. Perfect. So right. if you look underneath, I have the ticker going. So if you want to follow along, you would just go to adobe.ly forward slash Feb Ace Challenge. And it's going to take you to this page that Monica is scrolling through. And then go ahead, Monica. Why don't you explain yeah. that? So the best next step here is right underneath this very bright and colorful example, um, you're going to see a template, which really sets you up for success. Here's where that 15 minute aspect of a nice challenge comes into play. Now I'm already logged into Creative Cloud Express, so I should be good to go to hit remix this design. So if you haven't explored all of the templates within this space already, um, definitely a good place to start. But here's one that will let you jump in today to re mix this template. So it's loading up here on my screen for you and I've got it. There we go. I'm ready to remix. Now my name is not Dr. Jameson, right? Although I love all of these norms right here on the screen, I'm probably going to change it up a little bit um, with some of the things that are important to me as I imagine doing this for a group of students that I'm leading. And it might even be something that you are brainstorming together or reflecting on the conversations that you've had with your students to say, what is important to us? Right? What are the words that keep coming up when we're looking at different pieces? So if it's all right with you all, I'll just jump right in and add in some of, of my go-to words. Does that sound good? That sounds great. And one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of this too, is we are actually going to be printing mm -hmm. some of these posters and sending them to Adobe Creative Educators. So more on that in a moment, but just know your um, design could be printed and shipped directly to your class. So very exciting to I see. I love that. <laughs> so exciting. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here with the text of the we are. And I've already put um, some kind of brainstormed some words that I want to make sure that I include here. So I'm going to go ahead and place the ones here. I love these, right? I'm going to use some of them, but I'm going to go ahead and replace them with some words that are front of mind for me. So I'm going to type in supportive, creative, Friendly, determined, flexible is one that's also important to me. Let me go ahead and fix that there, that we're ready to be adaptable in different moments. And although I love focus, I think the one I'm going to end on right here is curious. So those are my go-to words here on the screen as I'm kind of getting ready to pull all these pieces together. Now down here at the bottom where it says we are, I'm going to replace um, Jameson's with Burns's here leave the doctor in there too. And as you can see here, I've got a lot of opportunities to make this my own, to move things around and build off of this really great template. So I can click on any of the words here if I want to highlight them in different colors. I can go ahead and highlight different words so that they really pop out here. I'm going to go ahead and do that here with my supportive word to have this all pop up right here. I, of course, really like these colors that I'm set up for with the template, but it's a good opportunity to say, what are the colors that we use in our school? So if there's specific branding that you want to match up with here as well, I'm going to pop back over to main style and I can go ahead and choose different colors. I already have some of my branding colors popped in here. I could use some of the suggested ones based on other things I pull onto the page. Or if I have the code for a color, like a school logo, I could do that too. Or I could just pop down here to more and choose some favorite colors, some ones that I think will really uh, connect to what I'm trying to get across here with the group. I can change up the shapes if I want it to pop. If I want to change the color in the background, just like before, I can go down here and choose some different colors and pull that in here too, so that my words are ready to really pop and jump off the page. And of course, I can go to find a new style if I wanted to do something like that too, or, or take something else out <laughs> that I wanted to shift around. Now in the background here, you can see from the layering on the right hand side that there is an image that I could replace if I wanted to, or I could totally remove if I wanted to too. I'm actually going to delete this one and head over to the icons and choose an icon that I might want to put in the back of my screen. So if we are curious, I might type in something like magnifying glass. If we are supportive, I might do something with um, people talking, right? Or I might even just put in something quickly 
if I want to put something like this in the background. Or of course, I could go to do a photo search, which would allow me to search for a photo to put in the background or upload a photo that's on my computer. There's a lot of great ones. You can see some of the ones that I've used before. I was doing a composting project a couple of days ago with a group. Um, I might pull in a photo and even take this one and add it straight to my background so it would fall behind some of the text that I have here green. So lots of ways to really make this your own, to change up different colors and maybe even change a font if you want something to pop in a particular way. I I love this. Uh, and you made it look good under pressure, which I, yeah. I don't think people know how hard that actually is. <laughs> it makes some people look good under pressure. Um, you did a great That's job. Really you know, what's really so much fun about these challenges and why I think I get so sucked into them and correct me if I'm wrong is because they do a great job at teaching skills, like mm -hmm. of how to use the tool, but also um, probably to use parts of the tool that you might not have ever thought of using. Like, I don't, I don't know if I'd ever really like considered the highlight piece before where you can like mm -hmm. highlight different words or so they're designed in such a way that like, as you develop as you go in and do the challenges, each one scaffold skills. So next month, I want to say, because I saw a sneak peek, I was like, oh my God, I love it. <laughs> There's always something that you're learning to do that you didn't realize is actually possible. So that's fun. Um, and I love how I kept, you're going to have to tweet this, okay? Because this is great. You did a great job in just, just a few moments. I'm in very impressed. It's really. And Shannon says, incredibly impressive. <laughs> Quick decisions on this on way to go. Um, and as Danya said too, like it's, there's so many different features of Creative Cloud Express that you learn in these challenges. And for to next month, um, I learned a couple new ones too, uh, mm -hmm. working with Rebecca. So um, this looks great. So, so Monica, how, how would you share this then? Like, how would you share it out? Yeah, so you have a few different options and I'll share with you too. I know I made one with my own picture in the background as I was playing around earlier this week. Oh, right? so you could just throw in a whole bunch of different directions. Like, this was my kind of my reveal one, right? With a different color palette or or the oh, one that matches nice. a lot of the things that nice. I do. So that's kind of my my prepped one here for you. But yeah, you've got a lot of options for sharing, right? So if you go to the download button here, you could print it out as a graphic, right? So if you wanted it to be um, a PDF file, you know, you're going to print it out, you're going to enlarge it, you might want to do a PNG file. So it's a little bit higher quality image totally up to you. Or if you're like me and you're going to be ready to share this on Twitter in just the minute that this <laughs> call, right, our time finishes, you might decide to save it as a picture and upload that to your tweet or tap on the share button here and publish it for the whole world to see, right? So you could grab a link here and then send this out. And of course, if you're working in a space like Google Classroom or Teams, you could give your students that you know little announcement, right? Post it right from here to let them see what you've gotten started on today. I love it. All right, so something to consider if you are participating in this month's challenge, um, Let's go back for just a second, Clara, let's just make sure everyone knows where to go and how to participate in the actual challenge component. Cause you can participate and create and get creative, but we actually mm -hmm. do have a component here um, where there's the opportunity to have your poster. Printed and sent to Yes, exactly. And you can put it up within your class or at home, like wherever you want to have it, but great in your class so everyone can see it. Um, but Monica, if you just scroll down a little bit here on the ACE Creative Challenge. Um, so 15 minutes, as you can see, it's super quick and simple to be able to put in um, your different components in there, your norms um, to share with the class. And then we're going to be printing out 100 posters of these that we'll choose at random. Um, so this is kind of a sweepstakes in that sense. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll be selecting these and actually shipping them, printing them out like in a big, beautiful size and then sending them. So in order to do this, first, what you need to do is share out your um, poster with the hashtag Adobe EDU Creative that can be shared on Twitter, Instagram, or in our Facebook group for Adobe Creative Educators. And then we have a form on this page that we'd ask you to put in your shipping information and your school so that 
once we select those 100 winners, we select from that form and it's ready to go. And we have all of your info in there. Um, so we're really looking forward to these. We can't wait to ship these out and see them like beautiful in real life. Um, and also virtually all throughout the um, throughout the Twitterverse. And I'm actually going to share here my screen really quickly. I pulled up the um, hashtag. Oh, good. Yes. Every time I go on, I'm like, yay! Yes. And it's yay! incredible. It's incredible. <laughs> I know, like, Tanya's also been, like, sending me, like, notes of all of the, the cool ones. Oh, my gosh. Used... Will, I know Willie's watching. I went on, I, I stalked mm. Willie Thomas's Twitter the other day. I mean, you might want to put, put it up. Mm. And he has... Oh my god, they like 3D print stuff and they like print them around the school. And I was like, oh my god, this is the best thing. Oh my god, they're so good. Every, see, this is what I mean. Every time I go on, I'm like freaking out. There's all oh, these new this beautiful Dixie. Oh. And more people with the new branding. Oh, I love it. <laughs> love it. No, it's this one I love. I, I remember this one too. This I is these are like the Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Wait, wait, go back up. I didn't see that. Someone printed from last month. Oh, okay. My heart is dying right now. I can't. They're so beautiful. Like, and, and it's just, so this is, as you can see, no matter what time zone you're in, um, it's really easy to participate in this hashtag. So go to Twitter, go to hashtag Adobe Edu Creative or Instagram, and you can share all of these with us. So if you want to participate, be sure to go to the link below. Um, and I'll stop sharing my screen here. Um, go to the link below, adobe.ly slash febacechallenge and hashtag Adobe Edu Creative um, to be able to share this with educators all around the world and with um, your students. And I'll bring in some comments here too. Um, Shannon says, printing so cool. Uh, we can't wait to, to send those. Um, Tim says, I love your poster, Monica. <laughs> And, ooh, great. I think this is Matthias um, uh, who said, would love to have an animated GIF option to the download. Great feedback. Well, they, um, do. They, can, they can just yeah. download it as an animated GIF. It's right on the right-hand side. If, when you're playing around on the right-hand side, you can actually, Monica, one second. Yeah, maybe we could share that really yeah, quick. I just, yeah, I just, just tweeted out my animated version because I saw that comment in there. And it's just, so here's my Twitter feed. I know I just put mine out here. My Twitter's on that little bit of a delay. So pop up here in a second. But anyhow, this is how I did it, right? Um, you Perfect. can pop back over here. We find mine. So you can see mine right there. So you can go to the animation button on the right hand side. Yes. Ever one that you want, right? I just tweeted out the typewriter version of mine. <laughs> so it's totally up to you. But so many great options. Oh, I love how it goes. Like, I like that, actually. I think I, like, I, think really I like this good. one better yeah. than the one I just sent. Yeah. That's so, really yeah. cool. I love that one because it, like, shows really quickly. And then the yeah. whole That's super cool. Oh, my gosh. It looks like a mini commercial for your classroom almost, right? Oh, it's awesome. I love it. <laughs> the download button here. Then hit start download. And you have your short file, right, that you can then share out. And like I said, I tweeted one out just a moment ago with the other version, but I'm with you. I like this one, I think a little bit better. <laughs> I love this. Oh, this is good. There you go. All right. Well, here's something else to consider and you're hearing it first here. So look on, be on the lookout for Monday morning because Monday morning we will launch the student version of the challenge. And so be, so as you're getting used to these new challenges, if you're following along, you can expect that the first of every month we will, or the first Monday, depending on when the first hits, we will, we will launch our new monthly challenge. And then one week later, we will always launch a student version of the challenge. Um, and uh, Clara, the student version is going to have some fun Yes. To it too, right? So we haven't announced this yet. You're hearing this here first, but we're <laughs> going to be printing out. I I should I won't say the number yet, but it's a lot. A lot. Hearing it <laughs> when we announce it, a lot of student posters. So you'll have your um, beautiful posters that we're shipping to teachers. We're sending many times more that many student posters to your classrooms that you can then get in a beautiful package and put all around on your bulletin board in the class, have given to students, they can take it home. Um, so we're really looking forward to that too. Oh, so excited. So you will find that it will launch on our social channels. Um, that's the best way to kind of keep track right now. Or if you're a part of our 
kind of inner community on Facebook. We will launch it there as well. So that's kind of how you can know as you're part of the ACE community, you are aware. And if you're watching now, check out the ACE community. Um, if you go to adobe.ly forward slash ACE, um, all capitalized, you can uh, find out more about how to become an Adobe Creative Educator. All right. Well, this has been fun, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. This has been great. I'm so excited to see all of these posters coming in. And Monica, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, it's always a treat. Oh, same here. So excited to be with you all and can't wait to see all of these come through on the hashtag. I'll be watching. Okay, thank, thank you, everyone. So we'll Bye. see you in we'll see you the week after next. <laughs>